Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about my Cyber Patreon, my training round. This is video of one of three, and today I'll be talking about Windows 10. I'll basically should be showing you what I'm doing and what I've learned, and just explain that all to you guys. So here we go. So first we'll open the README file here. Um, we'll scroll through the README file and look at stuff it just explains. So like here you see for competition scenario it says that the company security policies require all user accounts to be password protected. Um, it also says that employees are required to have secure passwords. So that's just like some things it says that it tells us what to do. So next I'll show you um, what my forensic questions are like something for the forensics here. So we'll load into forensic questions three and it just says this computer is a member of which Windows work group? So to figure this out, we'll have to go down here in the search bar and type show um, which uh, work group this computer is on. So here it already pops up. Um, next we're supposed to scroll until we find advanced settings or advanced system settings right here and then once you load out here you have to go to computer name and it tells you right here workgroup dragonborn so what we do is is copy this right here then go into forensic question three and then paste that right in and as you can see I've already done that so next the readme file talked about uh, for user accounts so we'll go add a password to a user so for example what you have to do is as open control panel right here go into user accounts and then manage another account so let's say we wanted to change the password for Ulfric so what we want to do is for me I would bring in my key pass here and I would type in my password Um, type in my password and then go into my training round and then we'd add the password right here I already have one so what we do is um, click the password change the password and then we'd copy the new password in here and then we click change password but I've already changed it so I don't want to do it again Okay, next I'll show you like some deleting some apps that aren't supposed to be on here. A lot of times on these VMs for the training rounds, there's um, like apps or like certain files that are not supposed to be on here and you have to go in to delete them. So to do this, like, we also have to load in control panel again. But this time, instead of going to user accounts, we'd go into programs and then programs and features. And right here, there'd be um, like a, the like the unwanted apps, like there, I think it was, um, I can't remember the exact name of the app, but there's two apps right here when I was doing the VM that I was supposed to delete. So that's how we uh, delete that. Okay, next we'll be talking about like password history policy. So as you can tell, based off the readme file, um, for this like scenario, there's this uh, company or whatever, is really like um, secure or really focuses on their passwords a lot. So next we'll be showing you like you have to have a minimum password length on this. So we'll be going and updating that. So what you have to do is open a control panel once again and then go to um, we'll go to um, administrative tools here and then we go to uh, local security policy. Um, local security policy right here and then we go to account policies and then password policy and then minimum password length as you see right here you double click on that and then you can change the minimum password length character so I was told to set it at 10 and so I already did so there are some four examples of what I learned and I showed you what I did for Windows 10 and I'll see you on Ubuntu.